This is the Grow My Clinic podcast by Clinic Mastery, where we help you deliver amazing client experiences to grow your clinic. Welcome to another episode of the Grow Your Clinic podcast. My name is Ben Lynch. Short one today. Previous episode, we talked about some of the top personal and leadership changes you can make as the owner of a clinic to help lay the foundation for sustainable change. Now we're looking at what are some of the top things that you can do in the business sense to help lay a foundation for change to help grow your clinic in the long term. Number one is what we call dashboards to actually understand the numbers inside your business. Some of the clinical excellence indicators as in How's each practitioner going in each location at attracting new clients, converting or enrolling them into the appropriate management plan and care, and ensuring that they're making progress and getting the outcomes they need and deserve, looking at things like rebooking percentage or cancellations or did not attend or the lifetime value, even the client loyalty average. So we want to dashboard and actually understand your numbers. That's a really quick thing you can do to know What do I need to work on to grow my clinic? Because numbers don't lie. Number two, as an extension of that, is the rolling break-even. We have a spreadsheet that we use with clinic owners to actually help them understand each week how many appointments do they need to have in the diary, how many people do they need to serve to be able to actually break even in their business financially. And then we can play with some of the variables to look at if we were to hire What would that mean for that break even? We can also forecast a little bit and understand, you know, if we are to have an influx or if we are to retain clients better, what would that actually look like for our rolling break even and get somewhat of a forecast for the financials in the weeks and months to come? The third thing that we love to do is set a structure and frequency of one-to-one team meetings to actually connect with the individuals in your team, not just in a clinical sense, that's important, but in a personal mentoring sense, to actually connect with the human being that is on your team, to actually connect with them, find out what's going on in their world and really help them achieve their goals because they are showing up to work each day to also help you achieve your goals as an owner and director of the clinic. So it's in our best interest to collaborate with them and really make this fulfilling work for one another. The next thing is a scheduled fee increase. If you haven't increased your fees in a while or you've been reliant on third parties as to your fee schedule, perhaps it's time to look at increasing the fees and charging what you're worth and looking to add value even more so to your clients with the additional revenue that you will take from those increased fees. It's another way to level up the client experience that you can provide. The next change is what we call management plans or treatment plans. The actual tangible written version, whether it's printed or emailed, digital, the actual plan that a patient gets and enrolls into at the very beginning of their care after you've provided a quality assessment and diagnosis, what is the treatment plan towards the outcomes that they're looking to achieve? We want to make sure that they have clarity and a vision, a sense of clarity over the outcomes you're working towards together in their health, in that partnership and that alliance. So we want to make sure that we've given them a plan of attack over the next coming weeks or sessions and that it's clearly written and in layman's terms so that they can enroll into it. They can share with their significant other, their spouse, their parents or, or caregivers so that they can stick to that plan and everyone gets the best possible outcome. So there are a couple of key things that we like to implement into a new clinic when they come inside and work with us in the Business Academy. They're things that you could perhaps even do if you're not a member of the Business Academy. There are five top things that we've found are most impactful that we want to get stuck into and implement into a clinic as soon as we possibly can so that we can create a sustainable level of change and a good foundation that we can base a lot of these changes off as the weeks and months progress. Hope that's been valuable for you today, tomorrow or the next day. If it is, please share this podcast recording with a friend or a colleague. That would be tremendous. It's a a great opportunity for us to be able to help more people in this clinic community be able to get more control over their business, over their life, 
over their clinic so that they can help more people, so that they can have systems and structures in place to serve more of their local community. Until next time, you can head over to clinicmastery.com for previous episodes and show notes and anything that we've discussed, all the relevant links will be there. Have a sensational day. Remember to live with passion and serve with care. This is the Grow My Clinic podcast by Clinic Mastery, where we help you deliver amazing client experiences to grow your clinic.